This is the new Mercedes EQXX. It sounds like an adult only version of the EQS, but it's actually one of the most extreme electric cars ever made. And here's a car wire top 10 things you need to know about it. The EQXX is a gorgeous four-door coupe that looks more like a spaceship than a normal EV. It's not a big GT car like the Porsche Taycan or a massive land yacht like Audi's Grand Sphere concept. It's actually quite small. The wheelbase, which is the distance between the front and rear wheels, is a few centimetres shorter than on a Mercedes C-Class. It's slower than that car too, and it looks even sleeker than the Mercedes EQS. At the front, there's a full-width light bar, and the EQXX's headlights are made to look like three-pointed stars, you know, to match Mercedes logos. Speaking of which, the central Mercedes badge isn't in the grille anymore, it's on the bonnet, just like on the AMG One hypercar. Around the side, you'll see flush door handles and 20-inch magnesium alloy wheels with special see-through covers, and more on those later. My favorite angle is the back. You can forget the McLaren 765LT. This is what you call a long tail car. Now, do you like the look of the EQXX or has Mercedes gone too far? Let me know in the comments below. The battery in the Mercedes EQXX can hold almost 100 kilowatt hours of energy, which is a bit less than the 108 kilowatt hours you get in the top specification EQS. However, the EQXX's battery is 30% lighter than the EQS's, so it only weighs about 480 kilos. To achieve this, Mercedes has added some more silicon to certain components. This helps each cell store more energy, so you need fewer heavy cells to deliver the same amount of power. It got this idea from the hybrid system in the AMG One. In fact, Mercedes also got the people who built that car's engine to rearrange the EQXX's battery electronics. They managed to squash everything together so tightly that the whole battery pack is now half the size of the one in the EQS. It's so small that it would even fit into an EQA. Now, the EQA has a 420 volt electrical system, but the EQXX operates at 900 volts. That's 100 volts more than a Porsche Taycan, which obviously does 800 volts. And you know what high voltage means? It means fast charging. And so the Mercedes might be aiming to beat the Porsche Taycan's 270 kilowatt maximum charging rate with its next generation EVs. You could even be getting 300 kilowatts. The EQXX has more than 620 miles of range, which is over 1,000 kilometers for all you metric people. That's more than 215 miles further than you can drive in a Tesla Model S, and more than 165 miles further than you can go in a Mercedes EQS. In fact, it's enough to drive from Paris to Berlin on a single charge. But Mercedes is playing the long game with the EQXX. It knows people won't really care about total range in the future because there will be loads more fast chargers dotted about the place. After all, you don't care about the total range of your petrol diesel powered car, do you? Because there are filling stations everywhere. You care about your miles per gallon instead your economy. And Mercedes reckons everyone will start caring about miles per kilowatt hour in their EV soon. To give you an idea of how much you can do with a kilowatt hour, well, one kilowatt hour will power your 50 inch LED TV for about 10 hours. Put that same kilowatt hour in the EQXX and you can drive for just over six miles. That's about 50% further than you can go on one kilowatt hour in most normal electric cars today. Although I did recently test an EQS by driving it until it almost died and I only managed to get about 2.2 miles per kilowatt hour. Some of that driving was on a racetrack though, to be fair. Now, if you want to see my in-depth review where I test the Mercedes EQS against the S-Class, click on the pop-out banner appearing in the top right-hand corner of the screen, or there is a link in the description below the video if you want to use that instead. Aerodynamics are a bit of a drag. Well, they can be. The average electric car uses about two thirds of its energy just to push air out of the way as it drives along. This is why Mercedes has made the EQXX as aerodynamic as possible. It has a drag coefficient of just 0.18 CD. That's 0.02 CD less than the EQS, which is currently the most aerodynamic production car in the world ever. Every flap or intake serves a purpose, from the transparent wheel covers that reduce turbulence to the grill shutters that only open if the battery needs cooling. Now, my favorite bit is the adjustable rear diffuser. It stays closed most of the time, but it automatically deploys at high speed to reduce lift. It can also retract if you get rear-ended in traffic, probably so it doesn't slice into other cars like a very expensive, very aerodynamic steak knife. The Mercedes EQXX is very light, even though it's crammed with loads of fancy new tech. Well, I say light, 
it weighs 1,750 kilos. Now to put that into perspective, the lightest Mercedes EQS you can currently buy weighs in at 2,400 kilos. This relatively lightweight for an electric car is partly down to the fact that the EQXX's doors are made from carbon fiber and fiberglass instead of aluminum and steel like on most cars. And bits of the floor and subframes are made using a new kind of aluminum casting that's stronger and lighter than usual. Weirdly, Mercedes also added lightweight sound insulation made from banana skins, chicken bones, and nappies. Basically, recycled household waste. I hope it's good at insulating smells too, because I mean, that could be pretty awful, couldn't it? Anyway, Mercedes also got help from its Formula One division, which designed a battery case made from carbon fiber and sugar cane waste. Another cool feature are the lightweight brake discs, which are made from aluminum instead of steel. These have a special coating, which help reduce brake dust by up to 90%. So that should help keep those wheel covers looking nice and clean. The EQXX looks ultra sleek, so you'd expect it to come with multiple electric motors, loads of horsepower, and do 0 to 60 miles an hour in less than three seconds, right? No. Mercedes has focused on efficiency for this car, not performance. So the EQXX only has a dinky 204 horsepower motor. That's only slightly more than you get in a 190 horsepower EQA. Mercedes hasn't said how quick the EQXX is, but it's much lighter and more aerodynamic than the EQA. So it should do 0 to 60 miles an hour quicker than that car probably in around six or seven seconds. However, if you want to watch some of the fastest electric cars drag race, which I'm sure you do, click on the pop-out banner appearing in the top right-hand corner of the screen or the link in the description below to watch one of my favorite drag races with EVs. If you thought the hyperscreen infotainment system in an EQS was cool, check out the screen you get in the EQXX. It's a massive 8K full width display that's bigger than any screen in any Mercedes ever. It has loads of brand new menu graphics and it features Mercedes latest computer software that mimics the neural pathways of the human brain. This doesn't mean that it'll become sentient and start reprogramming the sat nav when you aren't looking. It just means it uses much less power than an ordinary computer system, especially if you use lots of voice commands. Speaking of which, Mercedes has given the EQXX a new voice controlled avatar. It's made up of loads of three pointed stars and it's supposedly inspired by Mercedes Jelinek. That's the girl who all Mercedes cars are named after. The Mercedes EQXX isn't just battery powered, it also has 117 roof mounted solar panels. These aren't there to drive the motor, but they can power the car's heating and infotainment systems. This takes some of the strain out of the main battery, which helps boost the car's range. Mercedes reckons that these solar panels can give you about 15 miles of extra range per day, so long as it doesn't rain. Now, if you want to see exactly how far you can drive an electric car, click on the pop-out button in the top right-hand corner of the screen or follow the link in the description below to watch my latest range test video where I drive a bunch of EVs until they die. Anyway, back to the EQXX. Now, Mercedes is claiming that the car's interior is vegan because you won't find any animal products in its cabin. Not a sausage, literally. Though, you might find some chicken bones in the insulation. Anyway, check out the seats. They're trimmed with fake leather, made from polyurethane and crushed cactus fibers. I hope they took the spikes off first. Some of the details in the seat base also contain faux leather made from mushroom roots. The door pulls are made out of synthetic silk, so they should feel lovely and be really strong. And all the carpets are made out of 100% bamboo fiber. And to save on unnecessary material, you won't find any stuck on trim pieces anywhere. Even the door and floor panels are made from recycled plastic bottles. The EQXX isn't going into production. Oh dear. It's a big teaser on wheels that shows you what future Mercedes electric cars could be like. So you might get to see bits of its design, battery technology, and infotainment system in forthcoming Mercedes cars in the future. Speaking of which, make sure you subscribe to CarWow so you're notified whenever we publish a video on any of those cool electric cars. <laughs>